yesterday I was trying to figure out a way to get a timer on a video and I couldn't find a simple way to do it everyone uses scripts and uh, different things and my head just doesn't work that way I don't do this professionally I just do it for a hobby so I figure out a way to do it easily so this is my result see if i can open this one and i'll show you real quick how i did it so i have a 30 second timer followed by a two minute timer and that's the way it goes it goes all the way down to zero and then you'll get a buzzer that's basically how i did it um or the result the way i did it is i inserted text from uh, the effects library, I used the text plus right here, inserted that, dragged it, and then went to Fusion. Actually, before going to Fusion, what I did was just the same thing. Just I went to text timer. I selected text timer here. Right now it's dark because it's already inserted there. And then I edited it in uh, Fusion part. What I did is in the modifiers, uh, I selected these two numbers, so frames per second is 24. I went ahead and used the negative number, so that way it subtracts rather than it adds. And to make it a uh, timer that runs down rather than count up, I went with negative 720. So basically it's simple math, right? So 720 uh, divided by 24, it's uh, 30 seconds. So that's how you do it. Let's just experiment with this. If I do 720 positive and then go with positive 24 and go back to my video, they'll start counting from 30 because that's the set point that I chose. And it'll count up rather than down, right? Go back to Fusion. Select minus 720 like I previously did, and minus 24, and everything should go back to as I had it. 30 being the set point, and then counting down. Now in the case of the two minutes, you go to Fusion for two minutes. Let me see. Go back to. A, you just have to change. Like I told you, I don't do this professionally, so I have no clue on a lot of things. But what I have clue is mul multiply um, 120 seconds times 24. And you get the, the frames that you need. So you get 2880. That's what you set there. And you have to set a negative number because you want to count it down. And you have to set a minus 24 so that it goes downwards. If I chose zero here, it'll start at zero. The time will start at zero. And if I go minus 24, it'll count down from zero to negative numbers. If I chose a positive number here, um, it's, uh, call it 24, it'll start at one. So it's just like a math way of doing it rather than scripting, but it seems pretty simple to me and it worked. And it takes probably a little bit longer, but it doesn't require your knowledge for scripting. It's just more simple math. I hope it helps. It helped me. And most definitely, I haven't seen anything similar in any tutorial. So hopefully, it'll help you get your job done quicker. See you guys.